Hey everyone, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for visiting. I'm coming on today to share the February release from Impression Obsession with you. They have new stamps and dies and paper and stencils releasing today. And so I wanted to share the products that I have and my, my uh, samples with you. So let's get started. So the first set here is from Jeannie and it is a four by four inch set. It's called Alphabet Sayings Easter. And it has really cute sentiments in here. Um, also happy blessings and there's a cute little Easter egg up there at the top. Um, this one says, may this day be as beautiful as you. May your day be full of light. Eat, drink, and be happy and spreading a message of hope and love. So a really adorable set from Jeannie. Um, she's been releasing some stamp sets that kind of um, are companions or kind of coordinate with this um, capital alphabet that I released last month. So she'll have some sentiments in her um, alphabet sayings stamp sets that um, where will work nicely with alphabet sets. Um, another, <clears throat> excuse me, another um, set that's releasing this month um, are these two by Elisa Baker. This is a beautiful pitcher, um, like a vintage pitcher, and she's got this really lovely spray of tulips that can go in the pitcher. I need to get some of this, um, these images watercolored. She's got a cute little row of um, uh, some spring flowers here, and it says, your friendship is the greatest gift, and then for you. And I just think this is the cutest little set. So I want to get some um, stamp images of this done and get them watercolored. I think it's going to be really beautiful. So that's on my list to do for sure. And then this is another one from Elisa, Elisa Baker, and she's got this beautiful spray uh, of flowers here, kind of like maybe a forsythia or maybe a little bit of a, like a pussy willow, but so cute. Maybe even kind of like a um, Japanese forget-me-not maybe. So really, really cute. And then this adorable little bunny couple here. And I love this little potted plant. And then, of course, she's got some companion flowers and scents, uh, stamps that go along with it, of course. And this up here says, enjoy every day as a new blessing. So really cute. And then I love this little heart family on here. So really cute little set. And um, I don't have samples of these, but uh, on the website, um, and I'll, link a I'll leave a link for you down below, but there will be uh, galleries of samples in the, um, on the uh, Impression Obsession website that you can see. I just didn't get to making samples for all of these yet, but I will. So stay tuned for those. And then um, let's see. Uh, I think I'll go with this one next. This one is from Nola and this is an adorable spring set. I love these little ducks here. They're like runner ducks standing up tall. And then there's this cute little duck here. I love him. And then there's a sweet little mama chicken um, and a little baby. There's some flowers here and a nest of eggs. And then the sentiment here is the first blooms of spring always make my heart sing. And then, of course, there's that cute little mouse up there, too. So that's adorable. And then uh, Impression Obsession is releasing uh, some stamps and die um, companion dies. Uh, these stamps and dies will be sold separately. Uh, so here is the first set I have to share with you. Uh, and the reason I say Impression Obsession is releasing and not calling out an artist's name is uh, Impression Obsession um, pays out the artists that work for them directly, like me, Nola, Lindsay, uh, Jeannie, for example, Dina. Um, they work with us directly, but then they also license art. And um, so some of the art, some of the stamps that are released are released by Impression Obsession, not necessarily by Impression Obsession and an artist's name, for example. So here's a set um, of licensed art that Impression Obsession is releasing, and this is called Some Bunny, and so there's uh, the stamp set, and it has coordinating dies that are available as well, but I think these little bunnies are cute as can be, and I have a little stack of um, them in one of my <laughs> cute dishes here where I've die cut a whole bunch of them and stamped them, and so now I just have all these little bunnies in my at, um, at my desk here that I can use to incorporate into uh, my upcoming projects for this spring. So that's fun. And then also um, in the same art style as this particular set, uh, there is this set as well. And this one is called um, Easter Bunnies. So there is this set. And I think that's really cute as well. Easter is here. Happy Easter. This one's sentiments are some bunny loves you and hello spring. So that's cute. So that is the stamp and die set for that one. And it's again called Easter Bunnies. And uh, so that's adorable. And then they are also releasing this set as well. This is called 
Hello Spring Bunnies. And these guys are so cute. Oh my word. Um, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six bunnies in here, all different poses. And then there's Hello Spring, Enjoy Each Sweet Moment, some dandelions and some grass tufts, and then um, Have a Joyful Spring. So I used that sentiment, and I think I used this one as well, and and um, Hello Spring. So I did use this set quite a bit. And these bunnies, I think, are so cute, and they watercolor up so beautifully. And then um, with this set, there's a um, companion die that's available as well, sold separately. So there's a quick stack of some stamp sets. Um, a couple other stamp sets I have to share with you. This one is from Lindsay, and um, it's a really beautiful border set in her... Uh, illustrative style. I love all these whimsical borders that she's created. So there's that one. Again, it's called um, Border Lines. And then Lindsay also is releasing these fun flowers. It's kind of in like a folk art style um, of her illustrations, but I think these are so cute. I love the um, lines that she's added in them to give them detail, the little cross hatches in here that she's added to the daisies and maybe a sunflower there. So um, this one is called Crisscross Flowers. So re really cute. And then this one is so fun too. It's um, called Borders and Bits Series 2. That makes me think, think there might be a Series 1 coming. <laughs> uh, so this one has fun uh, flower heads and some petals here, some flowers here, and just some interesting things that you can use in the background. I think this one would be great for some mixed media stamping. Um, here's some text here that she's um, it's written over top of itself, so you can't actually read it. Um, but just interesting design for background work. And then, of course, this fun little hash here and these larger um, uh, geometric blocks. So I think this set is super fun. And I'm actually really looking forward to using that one. And then a couple of um, stamps that I used in my samples uh, are previously released, but I'll share them again with you because I think that's fun. Um, this one is called Cozy Vibes. And this one was released by Impression Obsession, um, maybe in December, maybe. <clears throat> it was either December or last month. Um, so coffee is a hug in a mug, uh, warm winter wishes, stay warm and drink coffee. And then these really fun images um, of coffee themed uh, art that are really, really fun to watercolor. So I know I've shared quite a few samples of these um, images in the past, but I did use um, this coffee cup here. Um, on one of my projects this month. And then this set here is also called Thanks from NOLA. And I used this great big thank you. I really liked this font. Um, I love the big font of this word too. So um, I pulled this set out to use. So again, this one is called Thanks and it's from NOLA. And now let's take a look at some of the um, dies that are releasing. Um, let's see. So first up, I have um, some geometric shapes releasing this month that have been really fun to use. The designers have so many fun samples shared um, on the Impression Obsession website. So I'll leave a link down below to the release page, but you'll wanna hop over there to one, not only see the products that I don't have that are being released, but also check out the galleries there. There's just all kinds of inspiration that's been shared uh, by all the other designers. And they've really done a really beautiful job uh, using the, um, the dies and stamps that are releasing this month. So this one is called Inside Out Arch and it's a single die set. Um, and uh, you can see that it has stitching on the outside and the inside and then the cut line goes down the center. So when you die cut this through a piece of paper, you're left with an arch shape that has stitching and you're left with um, a hole in your paper in the shape of the arch that has stitching uh, around the edges as well. And then same with this one. This one is called Inside Out Rounded Square. And uh, it is a similar design where the stitching is on the outside of the cut line as well as the inside of the cut line. And uh, that one is in a rounded square shape, of course. And then this next set is called uh, Stitched Flowers. And I love this set. I had so much fun playing with all these little posies. So there's um, several different stem uh, shapes for you and even a branching stem. The little circles up here at the top are just for you to put some glue on so that you have uh, more of surface area to adhere your posy to. And then various different flower shapes here. We have uh, like a little flower, petunia type flower. We have some maybe echinacea or daisies in a couple different shapes. Um, this could be used as a tulip or it can be used as the center of a daffodil, for example. And then here's another fun daisy shape or echinacea maybe. Um, lots of little leaves worked in here, um, several different sizes that are worked in here. And then this one over here, this little three petal one makes beautiful little um, 
daffodils and um, this piece here would be a nice piece of a center of a daffodil for example and you can even um, die cut this twice this three petal um, shape twice and you can make a full open um, daffodil as well so really fun little die set I love that one and then I have uh, this one here this is called rounded rectangle inside out rounded rectangle so again you can see that the stitches are on the outside and the inside of that cut line and then this set here is called rounded corner stitched square and it comes uh, as a three-piece die set so it has my fun stitching um, on the edges here of these squares and then it has a cute little tag um, included as well so I had some extra space there I wanted to fill that in with a tag um, and then these of course also have um, stitching which I love and then this set here is called Stitched Squares and Rounded Rectangle 2. So this is just another rectangle shape um, that has the inside out stitching. And then you can see this corner is rounded and this corner is rounded, but these um, two opposite corners um, are not rounded. So I thought that was a fun shape to use. And then this one is called um, Stitched Squares. And again, this is another three piece die set and it has stitching in all the corners um, of the largest square, stitching in two corners of the smaller square and then stitching on the small tag that's um, included as well. So I love this set here. And then there's some paper releasing this month as well. Um, Dina is releasing this one called Prairie and it's in these fun purple um, and aqua colors. And it's uh, very heavily influenced by the image of a thistle. And so here's some of the images here. And if you hear my tummy growling, it's early, early in the morning and my tummy's waking up. <laughs> so beautiful water, um, watercolor effect type images and fun colors. So that um, is called Prairie and it's being released by Dina. And then, so exciting, um, I also am releasing paper with Impression Obsession now. This is the first month um, of many that I'll be releasing new paper for them. And I have two collections releasing this month. The first one is called Quilted Grunge. And uh, you can see there that the images um, on the paper are all the same. It's just the color story that changes. And um, it is so, so fun to be able to use my own artwork as paper. And um, I have just been having a ball designing paper collections. So here's a couple examples of some of the darker colors. And um, then it's, of course, double-sided. And you get beautiful colors on the back sides of the papers as well. So here's a closer look at that cover there. You can see, um, again, it's called Quilted Grunge. So you can see the quilting there um, and in all the different color stories. And you can see all the splatters and um, distressing that's um, done on the designs. So... I just had a beautiful time um, designing papers and I'm so excited not only about these I mean this is just like something I've wanted to do for so long um, but not only excited about these but some of the upcoming collections that I've done are so fun I can't wait so um, I should say too that we design so far in advance we design products um, about 12 months in advance and so I've already designed Christmas for 2024 if you can believe it and um, so our my next art deadlines will actually be for art that's being released in 2025 just to give you an idea of how far in advance we actually work so I've been waiting so long for this um, and uh, just cannot wait uh, to share all of the new upcoming products um, and paper collections with you so but this is Quilted Grunge, and it's in a beautiful color story. Um, some of my favorite colors I threw in here. And, um, you know, sometimes we can get overwhelmed with cutesy uh, pastels and bright colors, and it leaves the more primitive style palette um, with little to work with. So I wanted to pull in some more um, natural tones and primitive colors. So i um, super excited about this one. So I think this is a beautiful paper collection and um, so, so happy to see that one. And then of course I had to do a chicken wire collection as well. So this is a super fun collection. Um, again, the image is all the same. It's just the color story that changes. And um, so here you can see that I've really utilized this paper pad, um, but it comes in um, some really beautiful colors, some of them brighter than others and some of them more muted than others. But I really enjoyed using this and designing it and choosing all the colors uh, that were um, included in the collection. So I love this olive green. Here's a beautiful aqua color. 
and um, really nice pink. So this one is a little bit brighter than the other collection, um, but I think it turned out beautiful and I love it. I love this orange. So, and even if you're not using images that um, have to do with chickens, this, you know, it looks just like a, um, was it a hexagon? One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, a hexagon shape. So, you know, it doesn't ha always have to translate to chicken wire. But, I mean, of course, I had to have chicken wire with all of the projects that I create that are chicken themed. Seriously. So, this is so fun. I love this blue and it really pretty yellow so so excited to be able to share these um, new paper collections with you and um, like I said I cannot wait to share um, all the other upcoming collections that I have um, yet to come so stay tuned for those now let's take a look at some of the samples I've created um, it was a very busy month so my sample stack here is not as large as um, previous months but let's just take a look at what we've got here so I made this adorable little tag and I die cut some of those flowers the stitched flowers and I used one of the sentiments there from one of the bunny sets and created this simple little tag here the paper um, that I used on the back for the tag uh, was the uh, it's called vintage letters I'm trying to get down to it here uh, it's called Vintage Letters, and this one is released by Impression Obsession. And it's just a collection of beautiful uh, script pages um, in these really nice um, colors as well. Nice neutral tones. Um, but that's the paper that I used uh, there on the background. And the nice thing about it is it's there, the papers are double-sided, so I didn't even have to back uh, the back here, and it still looks uh, pretty with that paper. So... Um, but that's the the uh, cute little tag I made and then in addition to all those little bunnies that I have in my dish here I have some extra flowers I just sat down one evening and die cut a bunch of flowers um, out of white paper and I used Copic markers and watercolors um, to color them up so I have all these little extra posies that I can use uh, on upcoming projects um, so there's a couple of those in here you can see I've got a couple of uh, extra leaves down in here and all kinds of stuff so um, you know, one night when you aren't necessarily wanting to sit down and make something specific, just die cut some shapes, um, get them colored up, and have them ready to use on future projects. So that's my first sample to share with you. And then I also made another tag. Um, Echinacea is one of my favorite flowers, um, cone flowers of any sort. Um, so I loved making this little tag using the, um, the pink daisy. So the pink echinacea flower, if you will. And then um, the paper in here on the background, you can see has the text and that's incorporated into the paper design itself. So really this is just a tag cut from a piece of paper with a die cut flower, uh, some ribbon and a button. So simple, when you use paper that has um, all the work done for you, it makes crafting so quick and easy. So, and then this tag has a really nice spritz of glitter on it as well. And then a seam binding button and some little cotton lace. But I love this tag. I did back this tag with some watercolor paper just because I, I wanted it to be really sturdy. Um, but I could have left this uh, uncovered because of that double-sided paper. So it looked really pretty. But I decided to back it. So, And this is a stitched tag number five, I believe. Um, this is a previously released die. And then here you can see what it looks like without any design work on it. So it's got the beautiful stitching up here at the top, a really pretty scalloped um, edging, and some really pretty details up there on the top on the edges as well. So my second project with you. And then here's a card I made using that previously released Cozy Vibes set um, with that beautiful little coffee mug um, or cocoa mug. And I thought it was cute to have the little heart marshmallows or heart cookie there and stay warm and drink coffee. And then, of course, you can see my paper there in the background. So fun. I love that. Oh, I just had the best time using my papers. Uh, it's so fun utilizing your own design work, I just have to say. so. Um, and I have a nice deckled edge on this piece of watercolor paper, and then um, the image is stamped and watercolored as well. So really quick and easy card to make. I did splatter it with some gold um, watercolor paints. You can see them on there. So that's fun. So there's that card. And then I have a whole little series of um, some bunny cards here to share with you. So here's the first one. You can see the chicken wire paper in the background. I love that purple color. And then I did stamp and watercolor these. Um, they're stamped on watercolor paper and die cut. And then I, of course, did watercolor them. And I think they turn out so cute just being painted up really simply like that. And then Hello Spring is also from one of the sets that Impression Obsession released. And here you can see that uh, rectangle um, in the background that has the two different corner styles. And then I inked it with some green and blue ink 
to give it um, like an atmosphere look, some grass and sky, of course. And then another card to share with you um, uses the adorable little bunny set that Impression Obsession is releasing. And I absolutely love these bunnies. Holy cow. I just wanted to keep painting them over and over and over. I'd like to see what kind of colors I could paint them and, you know, give them all different kinds of splotches. <laughs> so their fur is really cute. But these little bunnies are so cute. And here you can see uh, on the background the chicken wire paper again. And um, then here's one of the dies, the square dies that has the extra stitching. And then have a Joyful Spring um, die cut too. So again, another quick and easy card to make, but I think is so cute. So there's that card. And then here's a card that incorporates uh, the flowers. And then um, my jumbo stitched um, pink sentiment banner set that released last month. And of course, one of those adorable little bunnies. I'm telling you, I am not going to be putting that stamp set away anytime soon. It is so cute. And then, um, of course, my orange toned chicken wire paper in the background but look at all those cute posies aren't they cute stacked up behind that sentiment banner and then there you can see where I used that thank you from that uh, previously released set from NOLA I love the font on that and you could watercolor add some color there to the letters so I think this card turned out so cute I love all those little watercolored flowers and of course this one sparkles too and then the last sample I have to share with you today is this one, and it utilizes more of those posies. I'm telling you, I use them like crazy. And um, also the um, double or the inside out arch um, is here in the background as well. And then to cover up all of my stems where they came together, I added a, a little circle um, piece of felt that I had here on my desk and added uh, one of my vintage shell buttons there. And then Hello Spring is die cut from one of the stamp sets that's releasing. And then, of course, the chicken wire in the background. So, see, this is not necessarily chicken themed, but I think the chicken wire adds just a nice visual texture in the background. And, uh, I don't know, just as kind of earthy and rural, maybe. Farm life. Country life. So, really, really cute. Um, so those are the uh, products that I have releasing this month and the samples I've created for you. And um, all the other products as well from Impression Obsession are wonderful. I will put a link down below to their site. Please check out all the other products that are releasing that I don't actually have with me. Um, and then also check out the galleries. There are so many wonderful um, cards and projects being shared uh, with inspiration from the other designers as well. And... Um, so don't miss out on those. And then there will also be a hop. For three days, we'll be sharing projects on our blogs. Uh, so you can hop down to the description box where I'll put a link to my blog. And you can um, go and see all the other designers' work that they share on their blogs too. So thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited to be releasing these finally. They've been so long coming. And um, like I said, I'm so looking forward to all the upcoming um, paper collections that I've designed as well that are, uh, um, that are yet to come. So stay tuned for those. So thanks for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye.